Cub. A developing story, though, this morning. A three-year-old boy rushed to the hospital after he was shot in the head. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli has more from Comer Children's Hospital with the latest on his condition. Hi, Mike. That boy is out of surgery now, but is still in very critical condition. That is the very latest information here outside the emergency room at Comer Children's Hospital. Now, the three-year-old boy was rushed here last night shortly after 5 o'clock. That's when he was found shot in the head inside his Englewood home. It happened, police say, while he was playing cops and robbers with other young children who were home alone at the time. A sizable amount of narcotics was also found in the house. Police described the conditions inside as deplorable, calling what happened to the boy a travesty. The mother, according to the Tribune, had a firearm owner's identification card for a 40 caliber weapon. But activist Andrew Holmes said this case serves as a warning to other parents about the dangers of having guns in homes with children. Guns don't belong in the house with children. And if they are in the house, they're supposed to have safety locks on them. So whether and not who gun it is, it's up to Chicago Police Department to trace that gun, but I wish that gun had never been inside that home in the first place. Both parents are in police custody and are still being questioned at this hour. So far, no charges have been filed in the case. Now, it's not clear if the boy shot himself or whether he was shot by a playmate. Outside Comer Children's Hospital, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. All right, Mike, thank you very much.